Welcome. Thanks for joining me here today. My name's Gal. I'm a speech pathologist and communication strategist from RaisingNonverbalChildren.com. Today I'd like to share with you a few things that you can ask your child's speech pathologist to help you decide if they're the best person to work with your child right now. Now, the first thing that you should ask your speech pathologist is what is their experience in working with children like mine? So whether that your child has a disability or if they have a communication delay, find out what their speech pathologist's experience is in working with children with the same condition as your child. Of course the reason for this is to find out whether they've got a track record of being able to help children with communication impairments along the lines of your child's. Um, now, the reason for this is that when speech pathologists train, they often have very limited experience in working with children with severe communication delays or with disabilities. It's often not a very big focus on traditional speech pathology training. Um, so a lot of the advanced skills that speech pathologists use with children that are non-verbal, uh, they learn after they start work. So perhaps they work for an organisation that provides training or that sends them off to training or they learn through the experience of working with non-verbal children. Now one thing to remember is sometimes uh, speech pathologists that don't have a lot of experience, particularly new graduates, are very enthusiastic and they often have the time and commitment to go and find out the best practice ways of working with your child. So reading the evidence and finding out what the best way to work with now, work with your child now is. So oftentimes there's been a lot of research and someone that's been working in the field for a long time may not have been keeping up with it. So that's another question you can ask is how much professional development have you done in the last year? Because that will tell you how up to date that person is in the latest methods of working with uh, children that are non-verbal. I'd love to know what your experiences of finding out your speech pathologist's background is. Have you asked questions like this before? What do you wish you had of? Please leave me a comment down below. I'll come back and uh, leave comments and interact and join the conversation. Um, so please tell me what your experiences are. I'll talk to you soon.